From the newsroom at news.com.au. This is the latest from the newsroom. It's Monday the 20th of June. The TV Week Logies were held on the Gold Coast last night with TV royalty flooding the red carpet. ABC News Breakfast Sports presenter Tony Armstrong, who took home the Graham Kennedy Award for Best New Talent, has hit back at trolls on social media who attacked him for acknowledging country. Before we get going, um, I'd like to acknowledge the Yungamba people for having us on their land. And pay my respect before you clap, pay my respect to all the First Nations people in the room. You're all deadly. His comment on Twitter, which had been liked more than 5,000 times, led to a wave of support from fans on the platform who jumped to his defence. You can hear a one-on-one interview with Tony Armstrong in our latest episode of our podcast, I've Got News For You, as well as all of the stars from the red carpet. Customers and creditors are worried another construction firm is about to collapse, leaving the millions out of pocket. Snowdon Developments, PTYLT, has 15 creditors chasing it for debts totaling $2.5 million. Creditors are demanding the Supreme Court of Victoria impose a winding up order to force the company to go into liquidation on the grounds of insolvency. It comes as Australia's building industry is in crisis, with about a dozen companies going into liquidation so far this year amid rising costs. And to sport, Australian swimmers have come out swimming swinging as heated debate rages over the sport's controversial transgender bombshell. Governing body FINA announced this morning it would become the first sport to set up an open category to allow transgender athletes to compete in a separate class at the elite level. To entertainment news, TV hosts around the country have struggled on air after partying into the early hours of the morning after last night's TV Week Logies. Today, presenter Brooke Boney appeared a little worse for wear, with host Carl Stefanovic saying she should be in hospital. And Rebel Wilson has been spotted hand in hand with girlfriend Ramona Agruma as they both shared romantic shots of themselves strolling through Sardinia in Italy. That's That's the latest from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Follow or subscribe to From the Newsroom wherever you get your podcasts.